Hello and welcome to Skill Builders. This is the second tutorial concerning Oracle Solaris 11 kernel zones. Part 1 introduced you to zone configuration and installation and this part 2 tutorial will concentrate on reconfiguring kernel zone resources. Just to explain, if you have just joined this tutorial without seeing part 1, Solaris is an operating system owned and developed by Oracle uh, and both versions 10 and 11, 11 being the current version, support uh, lightweight virtual machines called zones, otherwise known as containers. Up until now, zones have depended entirely on the kernel of the host system known as the global zone, but since Solaris 11.2 uh, we can have um, kernel zones which can run uh, entirely using their own kernel just like any other normal operating system. As a reminder of the installation steps we took in the part one tutorial uh, we can see on this page that first of all you have to establish whether the machine supports kernel zones or not and the way to do that is to run vert info and there we can see kernel zones are supported. If that doesn't come out then it's tough luck because you won't be able to create a kernel zone. And as we explained on the previous tutorial you need fairly hefty Sparks uh, hardware in order to support zones uh, the kernel variety being anything between a T4 Oracle server and a T7. Uh, you can also support kernel zones on Intel architecture Having uh, established that we can actually use the kernel zone, we can then configure it. And on the left hand side you can see the configuration steps we took to create the zone uh, and then the zone ADM command to install it. So on this system I have a kernel zone installed. And if I run that zone ADM command I can list the current zones. Okay, My global zone is my host system. K zone 1 is my kernel zone, and Apache is another lightweight zone, non kernel zone, that I'm using to support the Apache web server. Uh, 